It's 6.30 a.m. at Shawnee High School. Health and physical education teacher Tim Gushu arrives and heads to the gymnasium where he supervises the holding area for the school's earliest arriving students. Tim is also the head football coach at Shawnee and today is game day as tonight the Renegades will take on their rival and sister school, Cherokee. Every game day is exciting. Tonight being Cherokee is especially exciting. Uh, uh, anytime you play one of the district schools, there's a buzz around the school. You can feel the atmosphere already. And uh, I think as, as the day goes on, it'll just build and build. There was a theme all week for National Anti-Violence Week, and today's theme was, you know, you know, wear your Shawnee colors. So, you know, I pulled out this jersey uh, that I wore here in 1970. Uh, Tim Welsh, who's a graduate, he's wearing his jersey, number 44. So there'll be a lot of excitement, you know, for all the students, you know, around school today. For Seneca High School business teacher Grace McCluskey, there's no time to waste when it comes to getting rolling on a busy day. When I come in in the morning, I usually get my mail, go upstairs, and I'll start to set up my classroom for the, the day. So I'll put um, my mastery objectives on the board, and then I'll go out to the hallway, and usually I start to get students to come up asking about different activities going on. Just keep checking the emails. Okay. Grace is an advisor for many activities around Seneca High School, including college scholarship applications and the annual Babes Kids Dodgeball Tournament, which raises money for local children coping with cancer and other serious illnesses. Today's students are handing in uh, not only scholarship forms that are due by the end of this week, but they're handing in forms for the dodgeball tournament. So we get all the permission slips, all the media release forms, and all the, the ending funds for the dodgeball tournament, which happens tonight. At Lenape High School, world language teacher Marianne Stecker is ready to start her day. I have a freshman Omer, which I love. I love having the youngins. I teach uh, German two first period, German three second period, and then I teach my German one classes two in a row. And then it's off to German 4, period 10, 11, which is quite a highlight because uh, they're the kids that I've had for four years. Marianne is also the advisor for Lenape's Knowledge Bowl team, which competes against other schools around the state. Today I have a Knowledge Bowl tournament at Allentown High School. And what we do is we go to different schools to compete in a Jeopardy-style format. We're hoping that they win today because that will mean that they'll carry on till next week into the finals. So that's kind of the way my day goes. It's uh, packed, but it's fun, and I love it. After preparing his classroom for first period, Cherokee High School automotive and home improvement teacher John Fitzpatrick heads outside to oversee the student parking lot during the busy morning rush. And make sure that everybody's got a parking pass and there's no speeding and no cutting people off and all that kind of stuff. And then from there, I come back in, check my email, set up my classes so that when first period bell rings, we all have to be in the hallway to monitor everything in the hallway. And then when class begins, I have to be ready to, to go and th let these guys start working. The personal finance class is made up of all different uh, grade levels. Um, specifically, my class has mostly freshmen and seniors. I group them, specifically a senior with an underclassman. Um, and this also gives them an opportunity to get to know each other, uh, to you know work with maybe a student they would never have an opportunity to work with before, and, and learn something from each other. Today, we're actually going to uh, look at our investments. We play the stock market game, which is directly linked to the stock market. So with this uh, type of you know, virtual activity, the students will learn exactly how their decisions or their research or lack of impact the decisions they make and the money that they'll have if they choose to invest that way. How'd you do? Not good. How much did you lose? A thousand. How much did you pay in fees and commissions for your trades? Fifteen You pay two thousand. Two thousand dollars. We're negative twenty-six. 
Okay. So remember the other day when I told you there was a strong possibility that you would pay a lot of money for your exchanges? That's what I want you to look at when you look at your portfolio. Currently, the stock market game is free to students in the state of New Jersey. Students uh, start competing against other students throughout the state that are also registered in the stock market game. So every time a student makes a decision and you know decides to make a trade, they have to pay commissions, they have to pay fees, just like any of us would. At the end of every day, based on how their stock did and if their decision was a good decision, they get a rating. Oh, we have a winner. We're in 12th place. We have a winner right now. What does that mean? We win. 12th place out of 126 players. High five. They're up $14.02 from their initial 100000 Very good. Yeah. You're doing well, too. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, sixth place. Sixth place. They're, they have um, total equity of 100,031.07. They're going to take a look at how do they read data on the internet uh, in reference to a company and, and stocks. All right, so we'll start out at real time quotes. So, what's happening right now? What can you tell me from the knowledge that you have so far? is going on. Okay, it's up. What was uh, yesterday's close? 58.60, good. What was the 52 week high and what does that mean? For the year. So the, exactly, they look at the whole year. And then, so that you can use that to determine where the stock is going. What is the price today compared to where it's been throughout the year? This is real time. So you can go on to this area of your stock or your potential stock anytime to decide, you know, what's happening right now. And this I want you to pay attention to to make your decisions. Historical data. Now they give you just one month, but what did it say in the notes I gave you? How, how far can you go to? Years. Up to 10 years. Yes, you can go up to 10 years. But what I want you to do right now is work with your partner and I want you to look at these different tabs and areas and decide if you're going to do any more trading today. Don't just make a decision if you're the one on the computer. I want you to talk about it. What should you look into right now? I'm scared to buy anything. I can understand that, but talk to your partner. Maybe she's not as fearful. All she wants to do is buy, and I'm scared. Discovery? Go, Britt. I know. That's what I'm saying. We don't buy today. No. Look at the 52 week. How'd you do? I bought 310 shares. You lost. 16%. Negative. All right, that hurts. Don't worry about it. We'll spring I'm not. Back. I have all the faith in the world in you. We'll spring back. Would you talk to him about his investments, please? This is a team effort. You're going to pay the price, too. Okay. On your sheet, some of you are confused, okay, about the specs. Well, some of the jargon that they use in, in the different industries, like automotive, is different than lawnmowers. Like crankcase in the red book is side bolt spec on this. All right, connecting rod is the same as piston rod. All right, you understand? The auto tech class, we started out learning the terms so that they know the difference between a piston and a valve, and a camshaft and a crankshaft. Now look at this. When it comes to timing, Remember, at the bottom, I want a picture of the head and what bolts you're supposed to do, like this. All right? You have to tighten them in a sequence. Anybody know why? Warp. Very good. So it doesn't warp. When you tighten this, if you put all the bolts in, you have to tighten them to a certain sequence, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
because when that head gets put on the top of the cylinder, like this, it could warp because it's aluminum. So you got to put it on the way the manufacturer recommends. You with me? Okay. Good question. How are you supposed to find that out? Call me? No. See the yellow tabs? That's all your specs. They have a, a workbook that we use, and every test that they have, every final, every midterm comes right from that book, and they're allowed to use your book on the test. See, I teach it so that it's like a mechanic. A mechanic doesn't know everything, but he knows where to get it. So I'm trying to get him used to it. Zach, your foreman. 10, 15 minutes before the end of second period. Mike, give us to him, please. Give him that. Assign jobs. And it's your job to get the shop cleaned up. Remember, guys, every one of you will be foreman. So don't give him a hard time. Now we're working on lawnmower engines. So now they'll strip down a lawnmower engine all the way down to bare metal and hone it and then do the specs and then put it back together and we'll see if it runs. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, then we got to figure out why. Nice and even. Keep it going. Keep it going. Up, up a little bit. Not too, there you go. Right there. Not, get, not too far down. Put a little bit of oil in it. Hold it right there. Matt, grab that oil. Sean, yeah. another thing. See your arms? Your arms, when you're not, not when you're on your body, on the honer. Oh, uh, just dump it in. Wait a minute. Yeah. Squeeze them, turn. Yeah, there, there you go. They were like that when I first did it. Okay. Make sure they come out further. There you go. As he, go ahead, put it back in. Now remember, it's going to pop harder now. It's going to be a little harder. Okay. Okay. A little bit. Okay. Right there. Now start. Start to go. Turn it on. Pull the trigger. Go up and down. Pour a little bit in, Matt. That's it. That's good. When we do this, we, we set up in groups. I let them pick their group. If they work together and progress accordingly, I'll let them stay that way for the whole year. Remember, this has a key. All right, so that slides on. Did you get the key in here? Still have the key? What do you mean? There's a, a flat piece of metal that goes in between here. So this doesn't spin like that. See, you don't want that to do that. Okay? You see this little slot right here? All right, there's a little slot right here. So when you put this on, you want to line them up, and then there's a square piece of metal that slides in there so that when this turns, this turns. Okay, got it? You don't have the key at all. That's all right, I have keys. Okay. But that's the piece that when you guys took this off, would still be in here, and it probably fell. Today in health class, we've been covering the six essential nutrients. Everyone's on a daily basis, I'll say, okay, what did you have for breakfast today? You know, what did, you know, and it's, it's interesting. Some of them, boy, they, they really take the time and they eat a good breakfast. And a lot of them, because I believe uh, that we start school at an early hour. Consequently, a lot of them, they'd rather sleep in than eat. And uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna cook some pancakes for them today. We're gonna go out to the Renegade Cafe, which is our concession stand. And the health students will come out there uh, they've been bringing in some ingredients, and I purchased some as well. So we're gonna we're gonna cook some chocolate chip granola banana pancakes. So that's what's on the menu this morning. I pre-made this last night with real batter, whole wheat flour. Okay, so you got some organic stuff in there. All right, you want them just not too thick, because then they're difficult to deal with the batter. Who's next? Come on. Here, Kelly. Here, all yours. All yours. Lewis, eat away. You want some bananas in there? Let's go. Come on. Bananas, get you your uh, extra potassium. We're gonna put something together for them so uh, they can see that this isn't that difficult to do and that they can eat well and, 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 and not spend, you know, hours preparing for something like this. You know, your help. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Before we begin, I'd like to do two things. 
We have today we have a birthday child. Alex's birthday is today, and so one, two, three. Some Geburtstag field look, some Geburtstag field look, some Geburtstag field Freude. Some Geburtstag field look, field field look. One, two, three. one, two, three. Alles Gute zum Happy birthday, Alex. Yeah. So Alex has to So a Alex, party. are you having um, a party tonight? Ein Essen. Uh, you're gonna have Gutes a Essen. meal, ice, ice cream, cake, Etwas am Wochenende. something on the weekend. You, weiß nicht. you don't know. <laughs> okay, Kinder. So before we begin, before we begin, wir werden ein paar we're gonna Wörter look at here. a few wir words unser here. Our MO is to construct the Scrabble board using as many new words as possible. So we're new, recently new. Okay. Nowadays, words with friends seems to be a really big thing with kids, and they like playing versions of Scrabble. So I thought, why not do this with German Scrabble? So today's lesson involves um, getting out those Scrabble boards, and they are actual German Scrabble boards, and the kids are going to divide into groups of eight and uh, teams of two each around the boards, and they're going to come up with as many German words as they can. So, Sophie, so tell me, what am I here? doing here? Ich, I'm... I'm washing okay, myself. So washing is ein Wort. So good. Washing okay, is was one word. Noch? Ich so what else? Rasieren. I'm good shaving. Steve. Good, okay. Steve. Rasieren. Shaving. Nun. Ich so now I'm. Ich dusche I'm showering good. myself. Ich dusche I'm showering mich. myself. And to spice it up a little bit, I'm issuing them a challenge that for whatever new words from this last unit that we used. Um, they're going to get an extra five points added to their score. So I'm trying to get them to recycle old vocabulary and also use uh, the new vocabulary. Okay, so all of these Wörter sind ziemlich neu. So for these Wörter, kriegt man plus fünf. Okay, plus fünf. So, ich gebe euch Papier so I'm going to beginning. give you paper, Ach, and you guys yeah. can begin. What I find with this class in particular is they really like Scrabble, and every kid gets engaged. Wow. Wow. Oh, Fernan. Oh, to oh, blow dry. Fernan. Who has Super blow dry? Tall, Good job, guys. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. I know we do. Yes, we have like four days. S A C A S E H. Okay, better. C A yeah, for double double word score. Good job. Twelve points. Twelve points. Okay, yes, kids. Okay, now you guys are on the right track. In English. In English. Okay, vice to vice. Okay, you know what? I'll check. I'll check. I'm handy checking. Okay. I have an app on my phone. It's called Google Translate, and I use it a lot in my class because you can't always know every single word in a language. And any time a student asks me a question and I need that word, there's Google app is right there at my disposal. Okay. I don't know. Gnome. One of the boys asked me about the word for gnome, G-N-O-M-E. So I really didn't know the word for gnome. I, I don't know any gnomes in Germany. So I, I used my cell phone, and it was one letter off the way they were spelling it. So they got to put a new word down. Ona A. Without an E. OK. Yes. Das? You got hey, it? Das is super. That's fantastic. Okay. Yes, okay. So when anyone has a question, so if anybody has a question, I can check. Yes. Try um. Okay. Army. Because I use army. Oh wait, no, we didn't. So I've, I've seen it used. Okay. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Steve. My military man. My military man here. That's new. That's totally new. So. I know, I get, I get no, aber plus but fünf. Plus five. Aber plus yeah. fünf. Yeah. Hair heißt army. Hair okay. means army. There are different words for army. Yeah, that's not the get, one that I use, but Steve word. did, so that's awesome. Yeah. They came up with a couple of words that they really haven't learned yet. They just took educated guesses. One of the boys asked me about another word for army that I didn't know. I checked it on my, my cell phone, and there it was. So I, they get a little bit of a chance to shine, and I think that's fantastic. Four, five, six, Four, five, six, six seven. Twelve points. Twelve okay, points. guys, add up. Let's get no, your no, final no, score. Steve, yeah. At the end of it. Uh, okay. Oh. What? 
Ah! Oh! Whoa! In their aller let In the very end. last minute. I'm a coordinator for the scholarship program here at Seneca, and I organize the scholarships by making them accessible to students throughout the year. And currently, we have the local scholarship applications out. So during my prep time, students will be coming in and delivering uh, scholarship applications. Those scholarships will go into a committee, and the committee will determine recipients for the different scholarships we have here at Seneca. Grace is also an advisor for Seneca's DECA Club. Today, she's meeting with Seneca Activities Director Brad Bauer to discuss where students can store their overnight bags before leaving on a trip to the DECA State Conference. Hey! Hi. How you doing? Good. Good. DECA is an organization of marketing, business, and entrepreneurship students. And we need to find a location where the bags can be safely stored, checked, because it is an overnight trip. This stuff obviously can be moved. We can stack, you know, we can stack them up. Not, not big enough. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, we had the other this one. This is three ones. days per kit, you know. <laughs> like, you know. No, that's All okay. these can be moved. Well, no, no, let's not. Couldn't I, j if I just, you know, move stuff on the side. Yeah. But we can store them here and then okay. go through the luggage. And and we don't need a table if this is staying we in, have here. Stuff in here. Yeah, so we don't even we need a table. Put it off to one side and As we check it. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. At Cherokee, John Fitzpatrick uses his prep period to gather tools and set up his sawing demonstration for home improvement. Last year I started teaching home improvement and card care, and it's really interesting because for one semester we do home improvement, which is everything from putting a wall up, to repairing sheetrock, to plumbing, to repairing an outlet, to installing a fan, and troubleshooting. And then car care is the short end of the auto class. And that'll get them ready in case they do want to go into a double period automotive. All right, now look at your sheet. Now, layout and cutting for lengths, okay? Each group Everybody gets one piece. What I want is it to match perfectly. It shouldn't rock, it shouldn't bounce, it should be perfect. And that's when you gotta work together. I wanna emphasize to you, when you're back there, it is no clowning around. You clown around and we're all gonna sit down. So, you see somebody clowning around, just mention it to them, all right? We work as a team, remember? Safety is of the utmost. We're going to talk about, you know, different joints and then how to do perfect cuts with a saw and a circular saw. You want a perfectly square cut, which means this way and this way. Understand? So that when I go down and make a cut, I want this flat, but I don't want it tapered either. So when you put your line on here, you got to put one down this side and one down this side. So when you make your cut, you have three lines, theoretically. You got the top line, side line, side line. You with me? Now remember, when you push is when you cut. You don't cut pulling back. You push, cut. Lift it up as you pull it back. Okay, now, see how good we did. See that? It's, it's bad. Look, see how there's a space? This is what you have to judge. See the space? All right, now, we're going to do the skill saw. When you do this, Get your line, again, top, side. We did safeties on this, so all of you should know the safety works on this. You take it, and you see which line 
is going to be on the right side of the blade. All right, keep the cord out of the way because I have done that. Cut the cord. Now don't jam it. Okay? When you push, you want to push straight, get a good base on you because you don't want to lean into in case you slip. Trust me, I've done it. I've actually slipped and, you know, chew up the wood. So there goes a, if you need a four by eight or a two by four, eight feet long, you just cut off part of it. It looks like the blade's off, the blade's bent. No. Okay, a little off, yeah. All right, see it? Okay, but you got to get yours close. Now, if the one on the other side that goes on the top is the same way, it'll fit like a charm. Like a glove. Like a glove. Guten Morgen, allerseits. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay. So, Morgan. Tomorrow, there's a quiz. So, so today, our mastery MO objective is to summarize the rules for using ACDC preps uh, in preparation for our quiz. Okay. Und auch and also, vocabulary. also vocabulary and anything that could be on there. Wir haben gestern ein itinerary. Yesterday, so we got our itinerary. Everybody has itinerary. an itinerary. Good. Today, my German three class is reviewing for a quiz that they're having tomorrow. Topic being prepositions, and prepositions in German are pretty hard. Uh, but this class is very motivated. And so before each quiz, uh, we have an itinerary of things that we go over, little bullets that they go over in order to get ready for a test. So we had these So we had this these ACDC prepositions, and we used hand motions, right? Okay. So. I'm going to signal with my hand, and you tell me which preposition I'm describing. Okay. Okay, so, was ist denn das? So, what's this one? On. At. Good, Danny. Okay, all together. All together. Under. Oh, moment. Excuse me. In. In. Okay. Under. Over. In front of. Behind. Next to. Swishin, between. Danny's leaving his word. Danny's swishin. favorite okay. word, between. Good. So this class is very competitive, and they like to divide up into teams, and they like to kind of call each other out in a good way, and they're very academic. And today, um, they requested the buzzer game, and the buzzer game is one of the ways that I use to review. I always like to start off by reviewing the concept before we do the game, because I don't want to just play the game to play the game. I want to make sure they have it, and then play the game. Und, was wir, was wir what we said is, is es sometimes it's accusative, und manchmal ist es and sometimes dative. it's dative. Ja? Nun, wer now, kann mir sagen, who can tell me, wann ist es when is it accusative? accusative? Motion. Wie sagt man motion auf Deutsch? How does one say motion in German? Bewegung. Okay. Ja, gut. So, accusative is accusative Bewegung. is motion. Motion, but not just motion, motion towards a goal, okay. right. Bewegung zum Ziel. Okay, Bewegung zum Ziel. Motion towards a goal. Okay, so here's motion, and this is my goal. Can anybody give me an example of a sentence with accusative, with motion towards a goal? All of your posters are here. So, so think, on think about the sentences you did yeah. on your posters. Uh, wohin Where do you go? Where are you going this ich weekend? I'm Kino. going. Where are you going this weekend? I'm ich going to the Kino. movies. Good. Like, stay, like. Stable, yes. Remember we were talking about the idea that you need, this, is, this helps me. I picture the scene. Uh, if you're a visual learner, you have an advantage here, okay? Picture yourself eating. Are you running around the restaurant? No. Okay, so you're not running to the bathroom or anything like that. You're just eating. So that's this kind of that's no motion. And each time you're asking yourself that, I think it will help. I mean, I run around a lot, but when I'm eating, it's all I'm all business. I'm 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 sitting. Okay, 
So yeah. just keep trying to picture where, what it is in your head. Is it a location or is it some kind of movement towards that location? If you can picture it, that will probably help. Okay. We're going to divide up into teams. They um, each got a color-coded little hand that helps me to divide them up sort of randomly, which I like. And I have a script of things that they need to know for the quiz. And we're going to go through, starting with vocabulary and moving on to grammar points. And we're going to move from uh, kind of things, things that are rote skills and then move up the ladder. And by the end, they're going to be creating sentences on their own with these prepositions. That's if everything goes according to plan. Okay, so jetzt ist das eine now, Mischung. Now, this is a mixture. Jetzt ist es eine Mischung. Es kann it's a mixture. It could be accusative sein. or dative. Du musst, du musst you have to really zuhören. listen well. So I'll, I'll give a sentence. Visualize that sentence or listen, whatever your strength is, okay? And visualize it and decide, is it der, die, das, dem, or dem? Leg den Kuli Put the pencil next to Lampa. Lamp. No. no. D is D is correct. That is lay. That's yeah, that is active. Lay. Yeah. It's active. Yeah. Ach, yeah, will. Yeah, okay. will. Good. Yeah, it yeah, is. It is lamp. Lampa. Is this, oh. Yeah, leg den Kuli lay the neben pencil lampa. next to the lamp. Okay. So we, remember, there can be commands as well. And commands could be either active or passive, right? Leg. Uh, leg Stelle. Okay. Um, actually, I'm, when I'm thinking about it, if you're giving a command, it's pretty much active, isn't it? Yeah, I, I never really stopped to think about that. Lay. If you're saying someone's already doing something. Exactly. What if you're telling someone to like, stand somewhere or wait somewhere? Oh. Don't they still have to go do it, though? No. That's a really, that's a good example. Awesome. Okay, it can be a go, you're right. You know what's happening? And this is what I do too. And this is what I think a lot of us do. You can be telling someone, stand on the corner, but your brain may be saying, go there and stand on the corner, right? But you're right, Liz, you could just say, stand on the corner, and then that's stay on the echo, that's no motion toward a goal. Well done, well done, both of you. In the middle of the lesson, the kids actually asked questions while we were playing. Uh, I think that's a great sign. I want, I want them to ask me questions if something isn't clear. And then at one point, uh, Peter brought up a point, and Liz responded to it, and we had a little bit of dialogue going on. And to me, that's the sign of a good learner. You're, you're always interested in learning more and understanding things clearly. So I was really pleased with the way they uh, progressed today. Come on. You'll, you'll enjoy this today, it's fun. We have adventure education for sophomores here at Shawnee, and today's activity is called the team wall. At first it looks like it's like, oh geez, I don't know if I can do that, uh, but they, inevitably they end up, end up doing it. The goal, the objective, is to get all of you up the wall. Now, I'll, I'll just explain something that cannot use the sides, these supports. All we can use is our own ingenuity. You have to come up with a plan, all right? You're not gonna have to jump all the way up there, but I will lean over the edge and place my arm down. You will grab, you will grab my forearm and I will pull you up. No. Now, Tom, extend your arm. When you go to grab, listen, when you go to grab an arm, a hand. It's forearm to forearm. Grab, grab my forearm. All right, it's not, it's not like this. It's not like shaking a hand. You don't have any power like that. Everything with adventure is challenge by choice. Um, they may not want to participate, but they will be spotting and part of the planning process. And everybody needs to be involved. Well, we need some people, listen now carefully. We need some people that are, come up with your plan for boosting. And then everyone else must spot. Everybody must be involved. Okay, that's pretty critical. Needless to say, safety is the number one thing. Uh, we want them to be successful, but we want them to be safe. So I, that's my job. Let them come up with a plan, but ensure that their plan is safe and that the students can successfully complete the activity. And um, I'm confident they will, because I, I, most of the classes we take out there, you know, really have a good time with this, and uh, it's, it's usually exciting. The first two people up, I'd like to stay up here with me 
and help me get everyone up. It's a, it's quite a workout. <laughs> I mean, how tall is it? What what do you think? Twelve feet. Who would like to come first? Like somebody doing Maybe. That. Not, you like it's only like yeah. two. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody No. That's a good start. That's a very good start. You're you're coming up with a plan of how you're going to boost somebody up. All right. I need everybody to spot. Everybody else in close. All right. Melissa's coming first. Support her behind. Grab. No, no, the other arm. No. Gotcha. I got you. Now give me this leg. This leg. Yep, I got you. You're here. Yeah. Give Melissa a hand. That's a great job. Tell tell him how much fun that was. <laughs> All right. Who's next? All right. Remember, push tall. Whoa. Good spot. Skate Get up here. Come on. Yeah, you're so Get her arm, Bob. Bob. Get her arm. Give me this leg. Got ya. Come on. Pull. Got ya. Get one leg over. Let's see if Ryan can jump. Oh, that was close. I'll try. You want to try, Melissa? Okay. Yeah, I, I got her waist. I got right. your legs. Alright, come on. Oh, that was so no, here's, here's your break. <laughs> how far? How far? He grabbed my forearm. He did get the forearm. Yeah. All right, here we go. Come on, I got you. Oh. I got you. Oh. Oh. All right. Whenever you're ready, on. Holy That was a great effort. Great effort. Well, I want to give him a chance to get up here, so we're gonna bring him up the old-fashioned way. Not a problem. Oh, wait, give, I want to give him a chance right. to do it. One, two, three. <laughs> oh. can, can, can I move over a little bit? You sure yeah. can. His hands like. Yep. Yeah. Okay. One. Bob. Bob. Two, one, one. Three. All right. Left. Yep. There you go. Get him to here. Good. Now, I get this leg. Watch your hand underneath there. Pulls like. Pull. Yeah. We got you. Come on up. Good job. All right. One foot down. Good job, Ryan. <laughs> Good man, good man. All right, spotters to the ladder because we're all going to make our way down. Very good job. Woo. So what you're doing right now is you're just doing a little scramble. This will give you some help on the next activity we're going to do. It's just a review from yesterday. All the classes start off with um, some type of warm up just to bring them back to what they learned yesterday after you know going through an entire 24 hours in other classes. So the students will do a word scramble and it's a lot of the vocab and the concepts that we learned the day before, before we begin the project. After the students complete their warm up assignment, they'll start on a new lesson designed to demonstrate the various types of marketing. Students will look at different visuals and then they're going to have to identify what type of promotion that they think is being shown. And some students will come up with something that maybe I wasn't thinking of at first, but then they get the opportunity to explain themselves and say why they think it might be an advertisement versus a form of publicity. But it's a good way for students to be able to take what they've learned in notes or in lecture and then actually connect it to something visual. First visual, Christina, what is it? Um, Beautiful, why? You went above and beyond, nice job. What would make this a sales promotion, Matt? What would you have to do to make this a sales promotion? Incentive to buy. <laughs> well, and what could be one type of incentive that you give to people? Right off of this? Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Excellent. Buy a one bar, get one free. All right. Tricky, tricky. What is this? 
I suggest you read it. And when this happens, when there's a news release like this, what is it called? Bobby, tell everybody. Publicity. Publicity. What do we have here? Publicity. Very good, Matt. Publicity. Because she went there to um, develop attention for this particular uh, country and what's going on in it. And she didn't get paid. How about this one? It's advertisement if you see it on a document, on the TV, advertising it. But what is the activity itself? Publicity, very good. Very good. It could be either, yep, depending on where it's found. What's this? Good. I want everybody to pay close attention to this. This is great. In this environmentally sensitive city surrounded by water on three sides, the sight of 10,000 red balloons drew a less than festive response. Okay, that seems like a dumb idea, because how could they not know that these are gonna go in the water? They were launched from the Game Developers Conference at the Moscone Center, attached with flyers to hype an upcoming video game. I see a lot of birds walking on the Bartolero, you know, eating just anything, and they swallow one of these balloons, and, you know, they can kill them. Positive or negative? Negative. Thought it was a great idea when they started out, and what is it? Publicity. What about this? And, and you're looking at the consultant. Yeah. Because how do you purchase this product from the consultant? That's why I put consultant up there. You got it. I actually have a challenge for the class. Ready? We need Hunger Games tickets for tomorrow for tonight for the dodgeball tournament i was going to make them but you know what why don't you guys oh absolutely you have enough time you have 12 minutes and you're good at this the district has a program called one book one school and this year our book was called the hunger games the story was such a hit and so many students were so excited about this book that uh some of the teachers got together with administration and they started an entire program of Hunger Games throughout the school. So they divided our school into districts and students compete in different things throughout the year. So for the dodgeball tournament, we thought uh, what better way to you know, end the uh, Hunger Games because it does end this month than to offer students tokens for attending the dodgeball tournament and supporting a really great cause. So it was a way to incorporate what's going on in the school with this evening activity. Check this out. I, that's good, really but I have trouble seeing it. it. Okay, send it to me like that then. Worst comes to worst, I'll just lighten it up when I get it. Good job, Tom. Although, I don't know, it looks like Lizzie, Heather, Katie, are you all working on one? Oh, Mars got a good one too. At Lenape. It's a prep period for Marianne Stecker, which means some valuable time to check her school email and respond to students and parents. One nice thing about emails is that parents ask for suggestions on how to um, help their kids. So um, it's a great way to communicate and give them clues as to how they can be working with their kids at home. After wrapping up her email, Marianne works on a script that she will use to demonstrate a new concept to her German one class. We're going to begin a, uh, a section uh, about future tense. So I try to kind of predict the future with them. Right now I'm just getting together my script for the kids because I'm going to predict uh, what they're going to do. And uh, I normally like to give them some examples first, have them deduce uh, the rule that I'm using or the, the pattern that I'm using and then we we go from there and then so we work from uh, them kind of figuring out what we're doing to them producing it so that's kind of my goal for today is for them to figure out what I'm doing when I'm forming uh, future tense and for them to actually take those first steps in forming sentences in the future themselves we had the words today 
Ihr müsst keine Notizen. You don't have to es take okay. any notes. For It's okay. For now, no, no notes. Heute, das ist present. Today, that's Gestern. present. Gestern. Yesterday. Gestern. Yesterday. Heute Today is Mittwoch. Wednesday. Yeah. Was war gestern? What was yesterday? Dienstag. Tuesday. Good. Good. So das ist die so that's Vergangenheit. The past. Die Vergangenheit. So das ist present. So that's present. Das war die that, Vergangenheit. This was the past. The past. Good. Okay. And dann haben wir morgen. And then we morgen. have tomorrow. Morgen. Und morgen And ist tomorrow is die... Die Zukunft. The future. Morgen ist morgen kommt. Tomorrow is, is coming. That's the future. Was ist die Zukunft? What's the, what is that? Donors talk. Sehr gut. Und was Thursday. heißt das auf Englisch? The future. Okay. So wir haben so we have present. Das ist That's jetzt. now. Wir haben die Vergangenheit. We have, we have the das past. Gestern. That was yesterday. Und wir haben And we have the Zukunft. future. Das ist tomorrow. morgen. Yeah? In order to really make this lesson fun, I'm going to have a crystal ball and a fortune teller's hat. It actually ties in with what I think about language learning, that if it isn't fun, if communication isn't fun, why do it? Communication is a way of touching base with people, and uh, so hopefully this will be something where they learn and they have fun at the same time. So I intend to darken the classroom, have the kids put their heads down on the desk, and when they open their eyes, I will be the Swami. Augen auf, yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Ich bin die deutsche Swami. I am the German Swami. Und ich kann in die Zukunft And I can look into the future. Sehen. I can see into the future. Ooh. Ich kann die Zukunft von all I can diesen see the future sehen. of all of these ich students. Ich bin eine gute Swami. I'm a good ja? Swami. Mein Hut ist ein bisschen... My Hat yeah. is a little off kilter, yeah. but okay. So, ah, uh, <gasps> es ist der, es ist die Morgen. It's Morgan. Die Morgan. Ah, Morgan. Morgan mm. wird nächstes Jahr. Morgan. Cheerleading. We'll machen. do cheerleading next year. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Is this a so Morgan? Is that so Morgan? Machen? Will you ja, do cheerleading? Yeah, see, ja. I'm fantastic. She will be doing ja. cheerleading. Nee. This is Camille. Camille, sie wird morgen sie will laufen. Run tomorrow. Wirst du morgen laufen? Will you run tomorrow? Ah, sie wird morgen laufen. She will ich run tomorrow. Ja. I'm good. Kann das yeah. gut machen, ja? I tried to capitalize on interest that I knew that they had. Um, some of the kids play certain sports, and I know that, so I use that in the future tense. Uh, some of the kids like, have interest outside of school. So I tried to kind of latch on to things that I knew going from the known to the unknown. Moment. Oh, das Wait a second. Interessant. That's interesting. Ich sehe die Chloe. I see Chloe. Die schöne Beautiful Chloe. Chloe. Oh, Chloe wird nächstes Jahr Chloe eine sehr gute will attend a really good besuchen. college next year. Yeah. Und sie and wird she will Musik study music. Studieren. Stimmt das, Is that Chloe? right, Chloe? Wirst du will you? Ja, Musik? Music? Ja, oh, wunderbar. Oh, fantastic. Okay. I see a zwei person. Oh, I see jetzt. two persons my now ball. in my crystal ja. ball. Ich sehe Mitch I see Mitch and Ryan. And Ryan. Was werden sie machen? What will ja? they do? Sie werden they will next year, year als sophomores as sophomores Algebra 2 learn. They will study Algebra 2. Is that true, guys? Oh, hey, my ball is My gut, crystal ball oder? is good. Yeah. Judging by their reactions, I think they understood what I was saying. Uh, they were surprised, their curiosity was piqued, and they were listening, and that's the most important thing. Uh, what I would like you to do, please, is to write a prediction about, let's see who did not get Let's see, how about Lexi? She wanted you to write a prediction about her. Anyone else want a prediction written about them? No one wants the limelight here, huh? Okay, Amy. All right, write something about Amy, what she will be doing, what Nick will be doing, what Lexi will be doing, okay?
Okay. Möchte jemand Would somebody mitspielen? like to play along with us? Möchte jemand ein Swami sein? Uh, Would someone like to be a sign? Swami? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay great. Yeah, and is das for is that Amy, for Amy or, or Nick? Nick? Okay, so da kommt Amy's future. So here comes Zukunft. Amy's future. Amy wird ein Buch lesen. Wird Amy ein Buch lesen? Will Amy read a book? Jawohl. Yes, Amy indeed. Amy is a fantastic yeah? reader, so she, so she will read Danke a book. Schön, Lexi. Thanks, Lexi. Okay, really yeah, good. Nun, um, now, one more just to wrap it up. Someone, uh, was wird Nick machen? What will Nick do? Was wird er machen? Hat jemand Nick gemacht? Did anyone do Nick? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to say hockey. Hockey. Yeah, hockey. Uh, er werden hockey. Er werden or Which er form wird? is it? Werden or wird? Er wird hockey spielen. He will Super play hockey. Fantastic, guys. No ich homework. I ja. thank you. Sag to der say nothing next to the next, the next class about this swami, swami okay. thing. Sag say nicht, nothing. Genau. Exactly. Sag to Quinn, nothing to Quinn. Der and Gruppe. nothing to the okay. other group, okay? Okay, guys, don't forget tomorrow, right? What's, hold up. Last quiz of the marking period, most likely. Let's make it a good one. Get together with the study buddy if you feel a little weak. Okay? All right, cheers, cheers. Bye. Bye. See you later. When I asked them to produce some sentences in the future, they were able, and these were first, these were baby steps, obviously, but they were able to do it. And the fact that uh, they wanted to come up and use the crystal ball to tell the future, I think that, I think they're on the way. I think they're on the way to predicting the future. Next time on We Teach. Seneca here, we have a food bank. Uh, and today during my lunch period, I'll be picking up a couple bags, which will be dropped off after school today. Back in 2001, I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was in remission from 2003 up until this past August. And we found out that in the back of my throat, there's a lymph node that infected and it has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Can, can you guys stop beating ourselves? Can we do that? We're beating ourselves. Relax.